How is it? What does it do? Give me the thing. Ah, oh, Punisher, huh? It's like the... What are you, conservative now? Give me the... What is it? How do you do it? Oh! Oh, it's pretty cool, man. It's not It's not my favorite. Give me the... I don't have the, a gun. Give me the thing. I'll show, you how I, I'll show you how I used to do it back in the day. All right, like I'm outside, right? I'm up. Let's go get these motherfuckers, man. I'm going to this bank, man. Get this motherfucking money, dog. Bitch, everybody free! Go on the fucking floor to a phone like origami! What? Phone us like origami, bitch! Like origami? It's like, I'm gonna fold you like origami. It's like the paper thing. You don't have to explain shit to you! Give me the fucking bird! What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> and that's how we would we would do it back in the day. He gave me a little bag. It was a change. Apparently they only had coins in there. But yeah, but I'd I'd go in there. Yeah. Fold you like origami. We rolling? Oh wow. Okay. Hey, we can put that on the reel. If you liked what you saw there, if you're out there and you're casting. I am available. Fold your ass up like origami. <clears throat> Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Say There, Buddy. Suppose you did the thing you'd rather do. What would that thing be? Saturday. I just lost my, my, my place. Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay. I am Trouble T. Jay Peso is here. And we have a new movie recommendation today. And that recommendation is The Devil Bat. A deranged scientist develops an aftershave lotion that incites his giant bats to kill. And this is a fiendish performance by Bella Lugosi. You're going to really want to check it out. The Devil Bat, now on demand. I did lose my, my place. Uh, so let's just, I'll just, let me see. Give me another thing here. Uh, all that stack. I had them. It doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter. Okay. I thought you were very particular about that. Okay. Uh, would you rather, <clears throat> in a fit of anger and frustration, curse someone who cut in line in front of you at a movie for his or her race or sexual preference? Oh, okay. So in a fit of anger, you either blurt out some racist shit. This is really not... This isn't comfortable. Outside of robbing, I couldn't see wearing this. Uh, you know, no hate to the manufacturer. Okay, <clears throat> did your, your, your aunt make this? Uh, <laughs> tell her I said, <laughs> still making robbing masks. I can't see shit out of this thing. Uh, in a fit of anger and frustration, curse someone who cut in line uh, for his or her race or sexual preference. You know what? I think I'm going to do sexual preference just because that's there's ways. I think there's ways around that. Like, I would just be like, okay, so if it's another dude, I'd say, hey, maybe if you wasn't sucking all that dick, you'd be able to uh, see the line right, you know? Or maybe if you didn't have that clam up your up in your, your grill all the time, you, you wouldn't be that. I don't really see any positive way to spin the race thing. It's really hard to drop a, uh, you know, a racial commentary in a fit of rage and, and be able to explain it away. On the sexual preference thing, I'm not going to use a slur. I'm just going to say, hey, you sucking on a dick, you can't see the line, huh? And then that would be it. I'm not saying in a good or a bad way. I'm just saying, maybe if you didn't, if there weren't clams and, and, and dicks in your face all the time, you know, depending on what sex you are, then you would, you'd be able to see a little better, right? Who knows? That's what I would do. I'm going to take sexual preference. Uh, would you rather find out that while drunk the night before, you flashed the elderly woman who lives next door, or that you pounded the hell out of your own car with a hammer? Nah. I'm going to, I'm going to flash the elderly woman next, that lives next door, because I'm going to tell you this. She's, she's going to like it. I mean, I'm not saying she's going to go, oh, God, that's a hot bot, but hey, look. I'm working. I'm working with it, you know. If I if I get naked for the elderly woman next door, there is a 99.9% .9 probability, unless she's eating too much clams and doesn't know her place in line, that she's going to like be like, oh, that was, you know, that was decent. I don't have to, that's what I have to do it in like a violent or a, a egregious way. I'm just going to flash her. 
I'm going to say, yeah, do you want some of this? Ah, uh, that's what I would do. I'm going to take that. And then he was waving his penis around yelling, do you want some of this? Would you rather sit on a fire hose for five minutes? Some of y'all are already salivating at the mouth, right? Oh, it's the only way to get your ass clean, bro. Put a fire hose up your ass for five minutes. I'm doing it because I'm clean, not because I like the tickle. Fire hose wouldn't tickle, though. That'll bust you wide open. Uh, or sit on an electric burner for one minute. Oh, an electric burner. So you're going to burn your ass. I think I'm going to take the fire hose. I, you know, I've always said I'm... <laughs> I always just kid with the bidet thing. I actually don't give a fuck one way or the other. But that's most things. Most things that I talk about or that I give people shit about, I actually don't give a fuck about it. Which I think is what makes me personable. As far as like, I don't, I am not, I'm the furthest thing from a judgmental person. Like, I'll see some shit, I'll notice some shit. But it will not affect, as long as it's not some overtly hideous, gross, or you're being just kind of like a violent or whatever, like, that kind of shit, yeah, I don't get down with. But if it's just some kind of lifestyle choice, I don't give a fuck. But I do like shitting and fucking with shitting. <laughs> I like shitting with shitting on people. I was going to say shitting with people, but that'd be weird. I like shitting with people on a bidet. I like to, it's, it's not gay, bro. We, need, we can get our ass clean. Two for the price of one. I'll sit forward on you. You sit facing me and it'll spray both our asses. Nothing gay about it. Uh, give me the fire hose for five minutes. Just because I don't want to burn my ass. you got to sit on your ass. How are you going to manage that burn? Uh, I'll just go ahead and take the, the fire hose for five minutes and then deal with whatever comes out of that. <clears throat> Would you rather have an electric tire pump shoot air into both your nostrils at full speed until your nose explodes or have a high-powered vacuum attached to your crotch until at least something separated from your body. I like the way that's worded. That's one of my, uh, that's, I think that's one of my favorite questions so far. A high powered vacuum attached to your crotch until at least something separates from your body with no clue uh, what that something is. Or an electric tire pump shoot air into both your nostrils. Your nose explodes. So you know that it's your nose. Ugh, I'm in. You're going to look crazy with that nose gone, though. You know that nose goes, and no one knows where the nose goes when the nose close. Vacuum attached to your crotch. Oh, so it is at least the crotch. But it, just because it's attached to your crotch, it just says something separated. Doesn't necessarily mean it is in your crotch. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just thinking about, I, mean, I guess I was thinking you're standing in front of a high-powered vacuum, and eventually something, something comes off. You want to lose your nose or part of your crotch? Um, man, it's easy to say, give me the crotch. High speed into your nose. There's not a good answer here, right? That's the heart of a true good, would you rather? Give me the vacuum attached to my crotch, because at least while that suction's going, uh, I'm going to get a little enjoyment out of that. And, and there's just something separating. It doesn't say what it is, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll the dice there. <clears throat> It could just rip your taint off. It doesn't necessarily have to rip your dick or balls off. It may just take your whole gooch. Uh, which isn't, you know, the best thing ever, but it's better than having your, your nutsack high power vacuumed off. Yeah, give me the uh, give me the vacuum thing, because I think uh, it might take my gooch. I don't know what my, the good what the constitution of my gooch is. It may be the weakest part of my crotch. I'm just guessing. This is pure speculation. Would you rather fight a creature with the body of a jaguar and the head of a cow, that's a fast cow. So he's got the claws, but he's got the cow head. Or, fight a creature with the body of, <laughs> of a horse and the head of Phyllis Diller. Uh, I think, I'll, the horses are powerful though. Phyllis Diller is pretty powerful too. I feel like cows aren't that powerful. Give me the body, I'll fight the body of the jaguar and the head of the cow. Well, I don't know though, because those claws... I think I'm going to take the body of the horse and the head of Phyllis Diller. Because the Phyllis Diller, yeah, she might get at you, you know. But verbally, I don't think it's going to matter. She might try to trash talk in there. She's got the body of a horse. But I think the body of a horse is going to be easier to take down than the body of a jaguar. And I feel like the head is negligible there. Like, it doesn't matter what what either of those heads are not. They're, they're, you can interchange those. It's really body of a horse versus body of a jaguar. I'm going to fight the, uh, the horse. 
Horse is powerful, but it doesn't have the claws. As long as you can, you know, your lateral movement's good. As long as it's not like a cutting horse, it should be okay. Would you rather have your thumb? You should be okay. You'll fight a horse. You'll be fine. Would you rather have your thumbs smashed by a hammer or have a five-inch screw slowly screwed into your navel? Ah, uh, give me the, the thumbs with the hammer. Boom, boom, it's quick, it's done. S screws, five inches screwed into your navel. You might be uh, nearing the danger zone there. Would you rather take ten clean shots in the chin from a boxer or have your testicles neatly placed on a tee and then whacked by Tiger Woods? Nah, I'm going to go ahead and take the, uh, I think I'm going to take the, damn, ten shots though. <laughs> Your nuts are never going to be the same, man. Give, take the 10. It says clean shots. Maybe you'll be out by the first and he'll just have you like Apollo was and wrote, Throw in a damn towel. <laughs> it's like I've only hit him one time. I'm going to take that over getting my nuts whacked by any golfer, really. Would you rather be rolling pin to death or beaten? There's a lot of violence in this one. Uh, would you rather be rolling pinned to death or beaten to death with spatulas? <laughs> spatula City. Where did you get that lovely spatula? I'm going to take spatulas. I think that's a, a cooler story. Someone's definitely been killed with a rolling pin. I, I doubt that anyone's been beaten to death with spatulas, so I, I, will, I will do that. I'll be the first one with that. Okay, we've got some questions today. Uh, we're going to do the... What is, what is the segment today? Thinking is hard. Would you rather not play Would You Rather? Alright, let's get into it. Chew. Oof. Are we allowed to do that? It's Pooh Man Chew. It's just saying Pooh Man Chew. Not Foo Man Chew. Okay. <clears throat> Before we get started with the uh, the Would You Rather Not Play Would You Rather, we did have a quick correction uh, to make. Sometimes people will write in and we will write them back if, if it feels like it's an urgent thing, which is kind of weird that they send us like real shit. But, but we did send out a, 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 a letter or a response, a DM the other day to someone that was... Uh, asking that about curing hiccups and, and we did want to say that uh, they can be cured temporarily through the use of carbon dioxide uh, we accidentally said carbon monoxide so we wanted to make that correction and we hope you're okay you know I don't know how that's gonna turn out carbon d dioxide is what can cure them so oof. boy is my face red this probably is too, if, if I can carbon monoxide. Would you, okay, well now it's not a would you rather. We've got questions, these are, <clears throat> I, I was saying, I was going to say would you rather because I'm so used to doing it and it's not even a would you rather. These are questions from people that either refuse to play the game correctly or they can't because it gives them brain hurt, so they just send in other questions. Uh, you've been kidnapped. You can call on the characters, <laughs> like that's not even, you didn't even get it, it wasn't even a question. You know, I mean, I know it's leading to a question, but it's supposed to be, would you, hey, send us your would you rathers. Okay, here's one. Oh, but I guess it could start that way. You've been kidnapped. You can call on the characters from one television show to make a rescue attempt. Which show do you pick? Oh, I'm Jack Bauer, Chloe. I'm going 24, all right? The other one is Carrie Bradshaw, but, uh, you know, I, I like that. I always thought that Carrie, Carrie Bradshaw... <laughs> Is that Sex in the City? <laughs> What's the, whatever the chick's name was on, on Homeland. I don't remember. Now I have to say something equally of uh, sexist towards that swinging dick. That fucking cock. Jack Bauer. Uh, <coughs> Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> I'm going to choose Carrie. That might be interesting. Uh, you know what? Maybe I will have the, the women from Sex in the City try to rescue me. No, I, I'm picking uh, 24. The characters from from 24. 
Okay, somebody wants to know that Jack Bauer was committed. I watched Homeland. Now I cannot remember that who she played <clears throat> on that show. Claire Danes played on that show. But when I first watched that, I was like, "Oh, this this is badass. This is like she's way more kick-ass than Jack Bauer." And then I went back and rewatched Twenty Four, and I'm like, "Oh fuck, Jack Bauer died." Like, he, he legally died, like, three times through the course of that show, and they brought him back. Like, he, he was actually dead on the table or whatever they were doing, torturing him, gas or whatever. I'm like, oh, yeah, he's committed, man. I'm going to take Bauer and the, the 24 crew. Oh, here's a good would you rather. What's the greatest sports movie of all time? In my opinion, what is the greatest sports movie of all time? Man, I really don't know... That. I'm trying to think of all the different sports movies. Man, I, I'm, I'm even drawing a blank because I don't watch a ton of sports movies. Some people would say Hoosiers. You know what? I think I'm going to go with, with one of the Rockies, man, because that's a sports movie, right? He won an Academy Award for, for Rocky. I think I like, I like Rocky, just the, the motivation, the story behind it. Uh, I did like that uh, Coach Carter and that Samuel Jackson thing. I was thinking about that the other day. Look at that motherfucking knot. Look, I tied that shit when he was talking to the team. I was like, we need to bring that back. Because we were right square in that era of just like, look at me. I'm doing just normal shit. There's nothing extraordinary. Look how fucking great I am. Give me, give me Rocky. Uh, I'll probably think of one later and go, fuck me, I wish I would have said that. And if I do, then I will say, no, this is actually the best. But get, get, I'll just take Rocky, because nothing sports-related comes to mind. There's not one that I, I've seen multiple times, I don't think. I think I'm just going to stick with Rocky. You randomly find the diary of the person you've been crushing on for years. In it, they reveal their fears, desires, strongest memories, and ambitions. Do you read the whole thing and use the deeply personal information to woo them? And for the another question behind it, if you get them, would you ever tell them what you've done? Uh, I don't, you probably can't. I don't think if you do do it. Now, my answer to what I read it, and most, you're going to think that this isn't true or to lie, but I really wouldn't. Because I've been in situations like that before. Now, I would run up in people's houses back in the day and go up in their shit and all that. But it's like, not not for those type of purposes. And, and when it was friendships and, and relationships and things of that nature, I, I never violate trust. I don't want to do it because you don't you can't come back from that. Even on the slight chance. I mean, even above like the morality thing of it. Like, that's your... Thing. If you wanted me to be a part of that and to know your fears and your desires and your memories, you would tell me. And if you haven't, I'm going to assume you, you don't for some reason want me to have access to that. So no, I would not gain access to that in, in deceitful ways. I really wouldn't. And I know it's easy to say sitting here, you got it in your hand, oh, I can know all their desires. I promise I wouldn't, hand to God, I wouldn't. I've been in those situations. I'm just that type of person, not in a bragging way at probably to a fault even when I've liked uh, girls in the past or girls liked me that my friends liked I would go to them and say hey are you gonna be okay with this I swear 100% of the time I, I've done that I would never just want to put myself in a situation where I lose that person's trust uh, and but if I did fuck no I would never tell them which is it's kind of going against the thing but I wouldn't I wouldn't tell them I mean why are you gonna do that and then tell them if you're if you get them and you're on down the road hey man if everyone's happy everyone's happy <laughs> don't just create a situation your task it's, it's better off to just not even look at it you're tasked with either oh does this a would you rather you're tasked with either digging up a grave and spending the night next to the coffin by yourself or killing a dog if you refuse to do either, a random coworker will die suddenly. Do you complete one of the tasks? Which? Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll dig up the grave, spend the night next to the coffin, uh, and then put it back in the morning. I mean, it doesn't say I can't put it back. Now I know that the thing. Okay, you got to dig a grave. You're going to be doing a lot of work. Uh, <laughs> why would you choose to kill a dog? I'm not digging that grave. Well, there's some people would. And they're like, okay, I guess we're done here. 
Uh, <laughs> or a random coworker dies. Nah, I wouldn't do that. That's not fair to a coworker. The stranger question I kind of like better because there, there's odds there. You know, a random stranger could be a 89 year old on his deathbed or, or someone that's d gonna, gonna go out in a week. You know what I mean? That's a little different. Coworker, I wouldn't do it. Uh, and I would just dig the coffin uh, and <clears throat> spend the night, dig the coffin. Dig up the grave and spend the night next to the coffin. Okay, I think that's it for today, and we do want to remind you, I mean, we are going to go back to the questions. That, that's it for this segment, and we do want to say apologize once again for the monoxide, dioxide uh, slip-up, and we do hope you're okay. Okay, uh, that's that's really got me concerned now. I uh, hope that they are okay. All right, let's get back to the questions. Let's start that. Here we go. Would you rather have a horizontal butt crack or vertically aligned breast? That's some stack titties. You ever seen one with them stack titties? You see one low, lower, and higher, but this is fully stack titties uh, or a fucking horizontal butt crack. I don't really know that that really, <laughs> it just looks funny. I don't know if that really affects you, uh, <laughs> what is that, function, functionality wise? A horizontal butt crack just looks funny. Uh, same, I guess, with the titties. I, I, now, I, I would like to see some vertically aligned uh, titties, but I don't want to have them, because I don't, I don't have breasts, and, you know, in that sense. <clears throat> so I, I will take the horizontal butt crack, uh, if I was uh, a woman, then I might I might take these stacked titties because that's kind of a novelty. Uh, I don't know if anyone's got those. If they do, if you're if you're out there and you have stacked breasts, if your breasts are, are completely stacked one on top of the other, please reach out. We would love to uh, hear from you. And if you'll let us, we would like to see them and maybe you know I don't know I'm gonna touch them or something. Would you rather have your eyes always moving? I'm taking horizontal butt crack. Would you rather have your eyes always moving as if watching a ping pong match? They're always like that. Everyone gonna think you're lying all the time. That's a shifty motherfucker. Or speak in the voice, volume, and intensity of a screaming Janis Joplin when speaking to anyone under seven years old. So you're just doing that full on, you know, <laughs> that full on scratch Miley. <laughs> Miley voice to anyone under seven. Volume, intensity, and they have to be under seven. So anyone over seven, you don't do that. I, I still, I think that's funny. I think that's better than uh, having your your eyes always moving back and forth like you're watching a ping pong match. I just feel like people aren't going to trust you. They're not, you know, you're not going to be able to maintain focus on anything. This says always moving. So anything you're doing, driving. It just won't work. I, I think the, de the better choice here is definitely uh, screaming like Janis Jop Joplin to anyone under seven years old. And that would just be funny. Uh, we'd have to flesh that out. I'd like to see that done just on, on camera or just two people doing it just to see what that would look like. Uh, save that. Mark that. Would you rather have a written lisp or fizz up like Alka-Seltzer when you're in the water? When you go... Th thwimming. <laughs> you got every, so you write, anything you write, you have a list. So you don't spell it right. Uh, it would eventually, it would get annoying at first. I think eventually people would come around to it. But I like the Alka-Seltzer fizz and the water. Uh, you know, hot tub sex and sex in the shower. Any, any water-based things probably out. But there'll be some some real nasty sex freak that's into that. So many nasty freaks just running through my mind right now. Uh, they might like that. 
the written list thing, I think people in your life eventually would come around to it, but when you're meeting anyone new or you have to do business, you got to send some kind of picture, you got to send something, it's like, okay, now you've got this list thing going. They're not, you're probably not going to get a lot of uh, things done that way. Give me the fizz up Alka-Seltzer and we'll just deal with the, uh, the, the side effects of that. Would you rather have to have sex in the same position every night or have to have sex in a different position every night but you can never repeat Kama Sutra so once you get even through the Kama Sutra it would be done. I mean let's think about what are some of the positions we've got. We've got cowgirl, reverse cowgirl, pile driver, reverse pile driver, doggy style, penguin style, missionary, Rabin Nicole missionary, the startled spelunker. Remember that was a, that was big. Remember that spring break. The weird, all everybody was getting spelunked. The Van Zant spin, 69, 96, 55, the 127, and the double zero, aka the Robert Parrish, bringing it home for Boston. But once you've ran through all those, you can never circle back around. So once you're done with positions, you're done. Or you can have sex in the same position uh, of your choice, so your favorite position. Yeah, you know, your, your significant other may go, ah, oh, we want to switch it up. Well, we can't, you know. Or we can, but then we can't go back to the other thing. And then what do you do once you're out of positions? You just have to start inventing shit, right? You're like, well, I'm going to tie your back leg up and call you the flamingo tonight. We're going to do it flamingo style or whatever. But you probably could. I mean, you would have enough things like little um, <clears throat> variables or like little discrepancies there where you, you you could do that switch up positions to something different for a while but I just don't think there's enough out there to sustain you for life so I'm gonna take the um, sex in the same position every night and that position will be the penguin style rabbinical missionary position penguin style though you know what that is just get in there and fucking waddle in it but can get in there and shake you around uh good times good times would you rather have the sexiest hottest uh, we kind of had something like this a way back i just remember it because it stuck out because i went on a sex rant the sexiest hottest partner ever but no sex what's the point or an ugly partner with wild kinky hottest sex ever yes of course i mean i'm gonna take that like i said the hotness isn't a driving factor but if you have the sexiest, hottest partner ever, but you can't touch them, kind of defeats the purpose, right? I mean, isn't that the purpose of getting like, when, you, when you're when you dating, you're dating, you're like, I'm going to go with the super hot one, not necessarily one that I, I like the best, just one that's nice to look at, you know, while, while we're getting it on. <clears throat> and, but but if you can't have sex with them, then why, well, why do you want them to be super hot at that point? Who gives a fuck? Uh, you know, the, the hot brainless girl that that's the one that you want to be pushing all the sex what am i going to do if we're not having sex uh we can't have a conversation give me the ugly partner with the wild kinkiest hottest sex ever because this is another thing too she's probably going to know that she's ugly and she's really going to aim to please and that's going to even ramp it up even more just that fucking surge of power that i'm feeling just knowing Knowing that she's trying to just please just just be with me just just look at this ah oh, here's something I saw I've been watching some stuff kinkiest hottest sex ever which <laughs> for me isn't that kinky I'm not a big kink guy uh, but in this scenario I guess I will be yeah well why I'm gonna have a hot girlfriend that I can't touch uh, well I'm gonna need conversation at that point would you rather have sex with your partner's mum? But your partner's dad. You know what? I'm always uh, any any of the gay questions. I'm the one doing the fucking, and, and I'm I'm gonna say I like the idea of the mum, but that's played out. That's been done. And if you're gonna have some kind of triangle like that with your your partner, I think it'd be a lot cooler just to bang your dad, right? Like you just just be like, I bent your dad over, and like there's, you know, the power dynamic has shifted greatly here. Uh, it's not like that. He did what? Yeah, I bent him over. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily say that he wants it. I just like that conversation better. I mean, I guess if it's going to end, and you know, maybe, maybe she, who knows? Who knows how that's going to turn uh, on her? I just like the idea 
Uh, sex with the mom, I like that sex better, but I like the story of bending the dad over better. Give me a partner's dad. I think that would be funny. Would you rather have a pet horse that you can show all your friends or a pet flying unicorn that you can never talk about or show anyone? Yeah, pet flying unicorn that I can't show anyone. I'm not a show guy. I don't really give a fuck. I don't get, there's been times, <clears throat> I was thinking about this the other day. Because I see all these people, like like I say, in the brag about just stuff shit people's done or whatever. And I understand you're proud or you're, you're getting out there. But it's like, the the bragging thing is just, but it's, it's fueled by social media. But it's kind of out of control. Where it's just like, look what I can do. It's everyone's Stuart now. Look, look at this, look at that. They're not living for their self anymore. People are actually just living lives now. Not that they weren't before. You know, they want to drive through the neighborhood in the fancy car, but they're just living out. Where, where's the vacation we can go where the pictures are going to look the best on social media or this and that? They're not actually even fucking doing things that they want to do. And, and that's where all this comes. Well, I mean, I could have a pet unicorn, but I can't show it to anyone. So what's the point? Well, the point is that you got a fucking unicorn, man. A pet flying unicorn. Who gives a fuck if you can show anyone? I really don't get this thing. It, it does. It's setting me off because I've really been thinking about it lately, like, why do, why do people care so fucking much what other people think, man? I, I've never gotten it. I didn't get it in high school. Like, that was one of the things I hated about high school. The social break-off. It even starts in middle school. The social click-up. Now, oh, now we can't be friends because they're with that person and that. I've gone through it before. Pet flying unicorn is way better. Big fucking deal. I've got a horse that I can show everyone. I could have had a flying unicorn if I wasn't such a fucking megalomaniac and go, well, if I can't show it, I don't want it. I want it. I want the unicorn. I might have one. You don't know what I got. That's the other thing I'm saying, man. There's years. You can never tell when I've had an up year or a down year. Because I, I, I really do. It's not a brag thing. I've stayed the same pretty much through it all. Slight differences, maybe. But you would never know. And I actually like that. Because I feel like I get authentic experience that way. I don't want you treating me good just because I have a flying unicorn. Uh, or a horse. Either of those things, I would have to tell you to fuck off if you started changing towards me when you found out. Uh, would you rather only be able to drink vinegar? I went a little tangent there, didn't I? It a little worked up. That fucking... Uh, <clears throat> or only eat bad fried chicken. <laughs> so every time you eat chicken, it's bad. But bad fried chicken can still be pretty good, right? It's like they said, there's no bad pizza. Uh, I don't want to drink vinegar, so give me the bad chicken. Would you rather have a shower that keeps you clean for seven days or a bed that gives you a full night's rest in one hour? Oh, I'm a big shower guy. I like the shower. Uh, the seven day thing isn't appealing to me. I, I would want to take one before that just because in my mind I would still feel like I, I needed one. That wouldn't help me. I, I like the full night's rest in one hour because I'll, I'll wake up. I'll try Man, if it's 4 o'clock, I'll hop out the bed, you know, whether I'm fully awake or not, and then maybe sleep later. With the one hour and have the full night's rest, yeah, I, I would like to do that. Okay, I think that's all we've got. Uh, until next time, I'm Trouble T. Big things coming up. See you next week.